My eyebrows really said we're gonna be cousins, distance cousins, not twins today, but whatever. We're <laughs> whatever, whatever. Okay, today we're gonna be going into the easiest glamorous eyeshadow that you can do in like three minutes. It takes three eyeshadows. The way that I do it makes it so that you can throw on each color and not have to worry about it looking perfect and it still looks good at the end. So we're gonna get right on into it. If you wanna see how I got this face makeup, I'm doing a uh, mask proof makeup. So all of this lasts and doesn't transfer on masks. So make sure you check out that video. Um, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is I'm going in with my Anastasia Soft Clam Palette. You do not need this palette to do this look. All we're gonna be going in with are the this rustic shade and then glistening up here. So all you need is a dark brown, a medium brown, and a shimmery champagne color or a color that shimmers and matches your skin tone. You're gonna go in with a just a simple eyeshadow brush and a blending brush and then your fingers. And that's it, really, really easy. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna work our way backwards. Um, and I definitely said we're gonna go in for rustic, but we're gonna go in. So we're gonna start, I definitely told you, that we definitely said that we were gonna be going in for rustic. We're actually going in with Cypress Umber. We're going in with the dark brown here. And what you're gonna do is apply that closest to your lash line, just like this, really messy, on your lid. When I tell you this is so easy, this video is gonna be so short. Okay. Like that, it looks absolutely crazy. That's our first step done. Now we're taking a fluffy blending brush. Taking our fluffy blending brush, we're going in burnt orange shade here. Any medium to light tone brown will work. You're gonna take that all over your brush and you're going to blend that on your lid into that dark brown color that you've got on there. And then once that's all blended, you're gonna just start to take that up into your crease. Just like that. And then blend until your crease looks nice and blended. Like that. Don't worry about blending out that darker shade too much because it's gonna be covered and we do want it to still be darker than the medium tone shade that we're blending out right now that's gonna give it the depth. Okay, and then you can take a smaller fluffy brush for this if you want. Just take that burnt orange light brown tone and run it under your eyes. Okay, done. Take your finger, go in with your shimmery shade. I'm going in with this really nice champagne-y color here. And you're gonna apply that all over your lid. Covering that dark shade, leaving your crease matte. So don't touch your crease, just apply this on your lid. And you'll see that that darker shade is still visible under this shimmery shade, but it's not crazy anymore like it was when we first applied it. So it gives a really subtle depth to the eye, which is really nice. And then take a little bit more under your finger and apply it just in the center under your eye. That's going to draw attention there, really open it up. An extra step for this is you just take a little bit of a light tone shadow, matte one here, and you can apply that on the inner corner of your eye, just to brighten it. That, and then same thing under the brow, just to make that pop. I'm gonna go apply my mascara off camera. I use the exact same stuff every time. I'll link it in the down bar for you. And then I'm gonna finish my lips and come right back and show you the finished look. Okay, I just finished the rest of my makeup and I'm just gonna show you now what the eyes look like. Super simple, really easy to do. Like I said, really glamorous. You can throw a pair of false lashes on if you want or you could just leave it like this. I'm just gonna leave it like this because if you're in a hurry, this is what it's gonna look like. Um, and I actually don't mind my lashes today, so. <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video and found it really helpful. If you try this look out, make sure to tag me in it. Let me know in the comments if you are, uh, if you go more glam with your eyeshadow, if you like the more natural look. Let me know so that I can make some more videos according to that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!